A second monitor is one of the best upgrades you can add to a computer for improved productivity. But sometimes attaching that extra screen does, well, nothing. If your second monitor isn't being detected, here's what to do. Let's start with basic troubleshooting tips. First, restart your computer with the monitor attached. Very often, the second monitor is detected during the reboot. Confirm that you're using the right cable to connect your PC and the second monitor. If the cable is damaged or malfunctioning, Windows won't detect the second screen. Disconnect any accessories like connected adapters, dongles, or docks that could cause hardware conflicts between your PC and the second monitor. Try using the second monitor with a different system or as your primary monitor to determine whether the issue is with the monitor itself or the computer. Check whether the second monitor is connected to a power source and powered on. Some monitors have a switch at the back to power on the display. Make sure the correct input, such as HDMI or DVI, is selected using the built-in controls on your monitor. Connect another working monitor to check if the issue is with the graphics card. You may need to update the firmware of the display you're setting up as a second monitor to fix any compatibility issues or bugs. You can do this by going to the display manufacturer's website to check their support page for instructions on how to apply the firmware to your screen. If there are no physical connection problems with your PC and second monitor, you can use the settings app to force detection of the second display. First, open settings and then click on system. Next, click display. Go to the rearrange your display section and click detect. That should force detection of your second monitor. A buggy, outdated or corrupted graphics driver may be one of the main reasons why Windows 10 won't detect your second monitor. To resolve this issue, you can update, reinstall or roll back the driver to a previous version to fix and restore the connection between your computer and the second screen. If you need some guidance on how to deal with your graphics driver, check out the exact steps in the article linked in the description below. See you next time.